walking in the food. Hey Justin, where did you buy that? Or that? Or that? Is it on eBay or Amazon or an RV shop? Well, you see, almost nothing that I do to any of my RVs is made for RVs. The word to remember here is repurposing. Most stuff built for RVs is garbage, first of all. Second of all, there's really nothing on the market for customizing an RV. And everything I do to my RVs is thinking outside the box, literally. It's no different than when people renovate a house of any type, really. They don't, you know, necessarily go and buy something specifically made for one purpose and then actually use it for that intended purpose. They use it for a totally different purpose. Now let me give you some examples of pretty much everything I've done to my RV that is stuff that I've bought that is not meant for RVs. Well, let's start with the TV. We all know the TV, as I explained in previous videos, is a residential TV. 14 volt, I just cut the cord and wired it 12 volts. So now it's a 12 volt TV for an RV. The wood stove, well, yes, the wood stove is made for RVs and boats. So that doesn't really count because it is actually built for something like this. In a couple of my previous RVs, I had the propane Dickinson uh, uh, fireplace, which is made for boats specifically, but it doesn't mean you can't use it in an RV or anything else. So I repurposed it for that. Um, my ceiling, of course, the checker plate aluminum had that custom made. All these beautiful lights inside. Very low voltage, 12 volt, and they're originally meant for patios, deck lighting to put outside in your house. You know, you drill holes in the wood and you're on your patio and uh, then you've got nice lighting outside. It doesn't matter what you put it in, they work great in an RV, way better than the RV crap they sell at RV shops. And I've got them all on a remote. There you go. Same goes for the purple lights that I have outside. These are very bright at night. UV lights, they make everything outside glow in the dark. Pretty damn rad. They're pretty damn rad. Anyways, those are all meant for um, hot tubs and pools. They're waterproof lights. And uh, again, they're LED, so obviously they're 12 volt because LEDs are all inherently 12 volt. So it really doesn't matter where you install them, but they're made for pools. But I put them on an RV. The rack I used to have up on the roof, the big railing, you guys remember that? That was made for a pull behind car trailer, but it happened to fit up there. So you know what? A rack is a rack. It doesn't matter if it's made for an RV or anything else, you can still install it on your RV. And I've got a new aluminum one being made as we speak. The striping on the outside of the van. This is ABS plastic repurposed, which I also used for uh, behind the speakers there inside. The porch light. Well, I just bought a couple more of those and put them on the back. Now I got porch lights at the back whenever I want, but they also make great backup lights as well. The window louvers, pretty common. You can buy those in all sorts of places online, but why not buy an extra pair and put them on the side windows. Repurposed, works great. The side window cover, the nice rain visor there so I can slide it open when it's raining. Fantastic. It's not meant for RVs. It's meant for the back window of a pickup truck. So you just have to do some research. Go do some measurements and see if you can find a comparable product. I, I wasn't particularly looking for a back window, a back window visor. Uh, it just happened to be after many hours late at night online searching for pieces of plastic that it happened to work. So I bought that. The control panel here with my uh, voltmeter, my USB plugs and all of my uh, little switches. Uh, that's made for a dashboard. Uh, I got it from the UK in a 4x4 place that sells them to mount the other way around, upside down, onto your dashboard and install switches or whatever you want. It was just a blank piece of ABS plastic, same as the plastic I used for the stripes outside, same as the window louvers. Uh, so I just flipped it upside down to bolt it up on the ceiling and then drilled the holes to install everything. So there you go, that's a, re a repurposed item as well. And if you remember uh, one of my old vans I had a couple years ago, I replaced the uh, wooden door to the bathroom with a glass shower door. That's made for houses, not for RVs. So well, what's the difference? It makes no difference. Use it for whatever the hell you want to. And that's all really just tip of the iceberg. Like almost everything I buy has nothing to do with RVs. I just use it for my RV. If you go to RV shops, 
you're just going to get generic, ugly, standard lighting that you see in thousands of RVs. You're not going to get any cool customization stuff. I mean, everything is pretty much you've got to build it yourself. And so you just got to think outside the box and think, what could I use to make that or to cover that or to add a little style to that? And chances are you're going to be all over the internet, probably walking into Home Depot and all sorts of stores looking for raw materials to make what you want become reality. So there's no specific store to go and buy any of this stuff. You just got to build it yourself. Now, some of the best uh, homemade RVs I've seen out there, you know, they don't have cheap RV uh, roof vents, for example. Now, mine has one, but that's because it's the fantastic fan. I'm just going to leave it up there because I actually like the fantastic fan. But if I were putting in my own skylight, I wouldn't be buying RV crap. I'd be buying house skylights and putting in the real thing like a big bubble dome or something like that. So basically nothing in here is, is, is made for an RV, except for mine. It's made for my RV. I'm just incredible, that's my opinion. I live in this awesome custom van because it's fucking rad. Keep on customizing in the free world. You are watching Just Incredible TV. Want to see more? Become a patron and see exclusive content. Plus, see new, just incredible videos before anyone on YouTube. Head over to patreon.com slash TV and keep on rocking in the free world.